Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. What's going on, YouTube? Nicholas here with Tech Love TV, where we don't discriminate and we believe all tech deserves some love. Today, we have a product from Seraphim. It is called Odin, world's first projection mouse. When I get products that say world's first, there's one thing that comes to mind in particular is just all the flaws that it might have. If you think of any product that was considered the world's first, there's always flaws and there's always competitors coming in behind it and they capitalize on those flaws and make their product that much better. So today I'm going to be testing out this projection mouse and we're going to see how it works out. So let's get into the unboxing, shall we? So inside the package, you got some literature, we got a user manual, true to source business card. Thank you so much for your purchase, blah, blah, blah. We have, oh, this is pretty nice. We have the Seraphim projection mouse item. Really small, actually. It's actually smaller than what I thought it would be. And it's also shaped like a transformer. It's been an honor serving with you all. Autobots. Roll out. Transformer, that's a nice touch if you're a Transformer. I don't know, Chucky, what do they what do they call? I mean, I know you got Trekkies for Star Trek and No. <laughs> no. He wasn't ready. And then we have the USB to USB mini cable for your computer. So the projection mouse comes in three different colors. You have the black, which is more like a, a space gray. You have a silver and you have a green one. I was on Amazon and I didn't see the green one for order, but the black and the silver are definitely for order right now on Amazon. And oh yeah, links in the description below as always. Now I must admit, this is very portable. It's light, it's about 40 grams. And to hook it up, all you need is a USB connection. So let me go ahead and set this up to my computer and see how this works. I'm gonna dim these lights in here so that you can see the mouse a little bit better. Okay, so. The setup process is fairly simple. You just plug your the mouse into your computer, it powers on, and there you go. Let's see how this works. Okay. That's uh moving around pretty smooth. You can see the mouse get big right there just like like it does. Let's see two finger scroll up. Yep. Do the two finger scroll. Let's see. The two finger scroll. It works. Uh but it's not as fluid as you would want it to be. All right, um, let's go and see the left and right click, see how that works out. So we got the left click, click on contact, it's working. Computer's just a little bit slow, but uh, don't blame that on the mouse. The left and right click buttons on the top work as advertised, you can also Click on the actual trackpad like any other trackpad. You got the highlight mode. You touch the left button and then you scroll down to the right and it highlights. Let's see what if there's another way. Get off of that. Nope. It's stuck. It's stuck on. Unless drag it back. Okay, that drags it, but it, it's stuck. Yeah, can't do anything, so. Yeah, it's not working like I would want it to work. Um, not too impressed by this. Overall, it's nice, but it's just not as responsive as a traditional mouse. If you're doing anything complex for a long period of time, I would not recommend this mouse. Okay, so I'm back. Um, would I recommend this product? I'm not really sure about that if I would recommend this product. it's. It is a first and I just can't see myself getting rid of my traditional mouse for this product. I mean, it's nice, It's it works out on a flat surface. If you have a glass desk, good luck. Good luck. 
But the only thing that I can't get past is that I actually enjoy using a physical mouse. It's just much better to the touch. I know I saw another video where a YouTuber was talking about this negates carpal tunnel. If you have a good ergonomic mouse, then carpal tunnel shouldn't be an issue at all with the, with the ergonomic mouse pad. I don't know, whatever, whatever you might like, but I really can't see this getting rid of carpal tunnel. In my humble opinion, would I recommend this product? Probably not. I mean, like I said before, I just can't get over my traditional mouse. I have a Logitech mouse. I like it a lot. It's very comfortable. Probably the best mouse that I've used so far. So I really can't put my seal of approval on this mouse right now. Maybe in the future when they work out some of the kinks, I can see myself maybe using this when I'm on the go because it's definitely portable and I like that. So you can find this item on Amazon. Links in the description down below for about $70. To me, that is a pretty high price point. I would only recommend buying this item if it was around $30 to $35, maybe. But any more than that, I, I simply just can't recommend it. I really don't think this product is that great, to be honest with you, to have a $70 price point. So as always, if you like this video, please feel free to comment down below, like this video, subscribe make sure you hit that bell icon i'm still pushing to get to 100 subscribers when i get to 100 subscribers i'm most likely going to have a giveaway but you know i'm just getting started so i need all the help i can get my name is nicholas and this is tech love tv and i'm out peace